What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter, and in this episode, I'm gonna introduce you to Big Jam. No, I'm not talking about some sort of jelly or sandwich spread. I'm talking about the new beta release from Figma that allows you to jam inside of a collaborative design document, creating user flows and wireframes. You can sketch and annotate, leave comments, talk to each other, and all sorts of other goodies. It's absolutely amazing, and it's gonna be perfect for collaborating in teams or with your clients. This is Fig Jam. All right, I've got Figma open. We're gonna dive right in and take a look at the brand new beta version of Fig Jam. Um, you can see I have my recent files open. Doesn't really matter anywhere you are. You notice, or you might notice, we have a difference between the icons here for designs, uh, the ones for previews, and that's because we can also create something called a Fig Jam file, which is in beta. So let's go ahead and click Fig Jam file. Okay, you see we've opened up our Fig Jam and uh, I have it open in the browser and I also have it open here inside of my desktop version of Figma. Now you can see I have two versions of me um, inside of this Fig Jam. And that's the idea, right? We should have multiple people inside, not just two of me, but multiple of lots of people all brainstorming and riffing ideas, talking to each other and creating ideas kind of at the same time. You have this big pixel grid kind of canvas. You can zoom in and out by pressing command or control um, minus or plus. Um, and that's kind of nice. You can also, you have your move tool that's able to kind of select things. And if you hold down space, you get the hand tool, which will allow you to pan around. You can get those tools down here as well with your move tool and your hand tool. But you can also draw things with the marker or hit M. You open that up, you get to select a color and a size. Do I want this big marker or a small one? And we could start drawing something here um, and it's gonna soften the curves for us. We'll do some little eyes and a smile, that's good. And then we can take our selector tool like this um, and we should be able to actually group the selection and move everything around like that. We can ungroup things and just move pieces and we can just delete things right off the board. So that's really nice. We can start sketching ideas. Maybe if you wanted to sketch, you know, like a really messy wireframe to something, you can also, boom. Uh, and then maybe we're now we're sketching all the different elements inside of our wireframe. You can do something like that. You should also be able to, yep, hold down option and drag duplicate versions of things uh, and then group the whole thing together. And now we have one wireframe. So that's really great, easy to draw, easy to create wireframe stuff. Um, you also have the ability to add shapes if you don't want to create um, just hand-drawn shapes. We can hit the shape uh, down here and get all sorts of different ones. So rectangles, ellipses, rhombuses, triangles, pyramids, everything, diamonds, all that stuff. So let's actually drag one of these and put it out on our stage and we can type something inside. Like maybe this is the splash screen. Uh, we have all sorts of formatting options inside and we can also change the size here. We can drag by the corner and that'll kind of keep everything constrained or you can drag by the top or bottom and that'll just kind of size those things out. So this is pretty cool. If we hover over the edges, we can create a new version of, or a new copy of this screen we've created, and it gives us a connector line inside, or excuse me, it gives us a connector line in between that's dynamic changes as we move it around. So maybe we want this one to be onboarding. Um, we can do that just like this. And that's the onboarding flow right there. Maybe we wanna change the color for the onboarding flow. We can do that. Um, and we put that connector in. We could actually add custom connectors if we want by heading down to the bottom and hitting connector or you can hit shift C. Uh, we're able to put straight lines or connectors. Let's do a connector we'll just drag one of these up. Excuse me, we'll just draw one like that. And then you can take this connector and you can actually just connect it to your screen. So now when we move our screen around, everything's moving dynamically, really, really nice, just like that. Uh, maybe we want to continue this flow, so we'll do a couple more flows down here. That could be pretty nice, just like that. That's the continuation of our onboarding flow. See how we're gonna be able to do user flows really, really nicely here? It's gonna be awesome. Um, okay, let's talk about the next thing you do. You can actually bring out sticky notes by pressing S. So let's drag a sticky note out. We can color this however we want, and then we are able to write inside of it. So we can put a bunch of text inside and people know that that note is from me, right? I, I can either sign it or unsign it. If I wanna leave an anonymous note, I can do that and 
make fun of things, but I don't want to do that. So we can leave sticky notes and just put them right on top of things. Maybe you want to do another sticky note that's just like it. Boom, really, really easy, really easy and usable interface. You can all just, also just drag text out. You just hit text right there, and now you can start you know, writing some text. This does, again, have formatting options, so we're able to grab things, maybe bold them, or turn certain things into a subheading. Um, so maybe we want this whole thing to be a subheading, just like that. We'll go subheading. Really, really cool. And then we could do another one right below that that is just normal. Put a bunch of text like that together. And again, all the grouping and everything works. We're gonna have smart alignment, so let's grab those and just group them together. So we can put these things um, on our cards or wherever we want. So really cool, that's a nice kind of piece as well. You also have the ability to open up library and get all sorts of different components that you can add to your Fig Jam. So uh, we have a bunch of stock components. Maybe we wanna put like a warning sticker or component on that. You can also get into your team libraries um, if you have a team plan. So that's pretty cool. You can, you can bring in your components, your buttons, place them in different places and start building out wireframes that way. Super cool with the components section. You have stamps, which are really interesting. Um, so you just hit E for stamp. And we either have emojis that we can kind of just like emote on certain things. Like, oh, I, you know, just continue emoting. Uh, maybe, oh yeah, that's really funny right there. Uh, but we can also just drop stickers on things. Um, and notice how I get the little stamp and my little sticker follows me around. So yeah, I love that. I love that. Uh, let's open the stamps again and say, but I don't like this one and I don't like this one. So that's kind of a cool concept. You can also bring in images by uh, placing an image right there, hitting the quick key command, or you can find an image that you'd like to you know, drop in and uh, just drag it onto the canvas and it will whew, bring in massive images just like that, which is pretty cool. We got You gotta dig that, that's really fun. You can also bring in other Figma designs and then resize them, comment on them, and change text values inside. So if I come in and just find a design uh, that we've done, come back over, I just command C from there, command uh, V and pasted it in here. We can resize it if we want, but if you double click on any text area, uh, you know, you get the ability to edit things and you'll see whether or not your auto layouts and your responsive resizing work for certain things, which is pretty cool. But that's pretty fun. That's pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure you can connect it. Yep. So boom, we've connected our connecting lines to that as well. And this image is massive, so I'm going to get rid of it. We don't need that. But that's really cool. You can kind of connect to anything. Pretty rad. Um, there's a few other things you can do. Obviously in Figma, you can share and invite people into this document like any other sharing stuff. You can also open up comments and we can leave comments on anything just like you can in a normal Figma file. But you also have this other really cool thing called cursor chat. You can just hit the slash, uh, the forward slash or hit right here. And this will allow us to say something and people can see you writing in real time. So I can just hover over what I wanna do, say something here, and once I'm done, I can hit, uh, oh, what is it that I hit? Escape, and I get rid of it, um, and I can say something else um, on any specific area. So that's cool, you're kind of, you're kind of like talking in real time, like uh, this is fun. You know, you can do stuff like that, and people can see exactly what you're talking about. Um, so this is a great way, and I'm, I'm pretty sure once you're done, you can close these things up and you can actually move these into projects. So once I'm here, maybe I wanna move it into that project. And now that fig jam or that concepting file lives inside of the, the project file. It's related to it. So that's really, really cool. And that's fig jam in a nutshell. Well, that's it, that's fig jam. It actually kind of makes me want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. How are you gonna start using Fig Jam right now in your teams or with your clients? What are you gonna start dreaming up? What are you gonna jam on? Let me know down in the comments, I'd love to know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design, development, and Figma just like this one, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments. I hope you're having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and jamming with your teams and with your clients. I'll see you in the next one.